The Garza's girls soccer team is the number two seed in the Division II playoffs. Tonight, they continued their trek towards an area title. The Rams hosted seven-seeded Sanger in area semifinal action. First half and Sanger is up 1-0. The Rams threaten, but the shot on goal is stopped. And a few minutes later, the Rams' Madison Todd shoots, but she stopped. Now, we're still in the first half, and Natalie O'Dwyer with the throw in, and it stopped. Or is it? And it's kicked in to tie things up at one. The Rams would score three more times in the second half and forge a 4-1 victory to advance to the area championship game. Now, the last time the Liberty and Bakersfield High boys basketball teams met, it was a hotly contested matchup, won at the buzzer by the Patriots. Tonight, BHS sought retribution. The stands were packed in the season finale for both teams. BHS led in the third, in the second, at halftime, we're in third quarter action. The drillers with the ball movement going to Derek Brown, who fires and hits from downtown. Now, Liberty tries to stay close. Zach Prince with the drive. He goes off glass and gets the bucket. The drillers, Kevin Hayes with the fake, the baseline drive, bucket, and the foul. BHS up this lead to 17. And the icing on the cake, Brown with the long pass to Tyrone Wallace. He gathers it in for the flush. The drillers had little trouble in this one as they finished Southwest Yosemite League playing second place with the 79-65 victory. The Cal State softball team hosted Cal State Fullerton in its home opener. We're in a scoreless tie in the sixth when the Roadrunners' Lara King gets a hold of this one and sends it over the center fielder's head. She'll get a stand-up double to lead off the inning. But two batters later, she's thrown out trying to steal third, and CSUB eventually got nothing out of the inning. In the eighth, the Titans load the bases, and this single is going to bring home a run. They would eventually score four times in the inning. Now, King would double home Bree Sandoval in the bottom half of the inning, but it wasn't enough as Fullerton would defeat the Roadrunners 4-1 to one in eight innings. But the Roadrunners won the nightcap 8-7. to seven. Bakersfield College softball hosted Santiago Canyon today. The Renegades trail 5-1 in the third, but are on the comeback trail. Kara Frankhauser's single to center brings Caitlin Turner home, and it's 5-2. Frankhauser's on second when Sarah Smith sends this one deep to left field, and it's not playable. The two-run shot cuts the BC deficit to 5-4. To and after a Jasmine Irvin double, she's brought home on this single by Julie Estep, and we're all even at 5. The Renegades will score three more times and hold on to get the 8-6 win. Now, the Condors are on fire. Second period goals by Evan Trupp, Parker Stanfield, and Kyle Calder gave the Condors a fourth consecutive win as they defeated Alaska tonight 4-1. to one. The Lakers were at home hosting Phoenix. First quarter and the Lakers get defensive. Powell Gasol breaks up the pass and Kobe Bryant is on the break. He'll go all the way to the rack, the layup and foul. Now Bryant's working against veteran Grant Hill. He goes baseline, pump fake several times, but eventually gets the bucket. Kobe scored 18 of his game high 36 in the fourth quarter. And the Lakers would hold off the Suns with the 111-99 win. The Cal State baseball team begins its season tomorrow with the first of a three-game set against Kansas State at Hart Field. The Wildcats made the NCAA tournament last season, and even though the Roadrunners lost some key players, they had their own set of aspirations. We lost most of our production, and uh, we lost 400 innings of the pitching uh, that had an ERA of 2.64 and 30 of our wins. So we got wiped out on the pitching end. It wasn't the plan. We all know we, we lost some key components from last year, but um, we still feel like we have a pretty solid core of guys uh, coming back, and we feel like we're meshing really well as a team. And we have a couple of quick scores. Bakersfield College Baseball beat Oxnard 7-4. Independence beat Stockdale in overtime in boys basketball. And the Stockdale girls, congratulations to them. Southwest Yosemite League champs tonight with a win over Independence in basketball. Good, Good for them. Congratulations.